Hello, everyone on Facebook. Um, welcome to Virtual Music Thursday. I am Maria Jordan with Caring Hearts and Voices. And uh, I don't know why I was phrasing all of those as a question on the end. But uh, today is uh, Thursday, April 23rd. I can't believe that um, it's like a month now. Uh, my boys were sick at the start of before all of the lockdown. Like they were sent home like that week before because they were, they were not feeling well at school. And then their fevers went up and they had like that cough and coughs and fever and that's pretty much it and so they were we were pretty much on lockdown since before then and now like it's well over a month and uh all of this lockdown stuff uh has me stir crazy a little bit so um today's theme is kind of craziness and so i've got some uh karaoke hits that i used to do back when i karaoke which is how i met my husband um so he heard me and obviously wasn't scared off and uh, i heard him him, and I thought it was very endearing. And uh, so I got some karaoke hits uh, for my friends uh, to kind of like help us reminisce back uh, in our fun days. <laughs> and uh, I've got some current ones. I'm going to try out a new song today uh, from Billie Eilish, uh, the Ocean Eye song. I'm going to try that one out. Um, I just learned it last night. And uh, I don't know, it's such a pretty song. So I figured I'd pull it out and do it today and then um, carry on with some more ocean song. And then some sweet psycho crazy bat stuff and um <laughs> just because it's one of those days uh and so i've got some fun dreaming crazy psycho and uh, i'm gonna end with some like fancy broadway and <laughs> have fun with it so um have fun today all right so here's let me get some everything else set up make sure um, everything is ready to go and we'll get started we'll let people kind of like jump in here too all right got some coffee today. I made a big cup. This might be kind of why I feel a little bit more wired right now too when I'm like I'm gonna do makeup and have fun with this so keeping uh somewhat hydrated and uh definitely caffeinated. All right and also my spray. Those of you haven't if you need a, a spray idea how to help your, your vocal cords a little bit, I don't know if this is healthy. This may be actually very bad, but I feel like it helps me. Um, I've got some Corona in here with a little bit of agave syrup. So <laughs> try to spray your mouth and not your old face. Um, that's what just happened there. All right, so let's get started. We're going to do some uh, my favorite karaoke song. This song um, is the one that like my husband always made me sing to, and it's a good one. All right, so here's Alone. I hear the ticking of the clock. I'm lying here. Night goes by so very slow. Oh, I hope that it won't end though. alone. Till I always got by on my own. I never really cared until I met you. And now Choose me to the bone, and I got you alone. And I got you alone. You don't know how long I have wanted to touch your lips and hold.
Ready? Sing this high note with me. This next one is for my friend Ellen. I haven't seen her on there, but Ellen Sadorsky and I, she was my roommate. You're going to hear the karaoke, like, startup thing. Uh, we used to karaoke in our living room, and we would, like, do the silly little dance. So, for those of you that want to join in, here's the middle. Take a seat. Right over there, sat on the stairs, stay or leave. The count is up there, and I'm unaware just how we got into this mess. Got so aggressive. I know how we met our good intention so pull me closer why don't you pull me close why don't you come on over i know you can't let go oh baby why don't you just meet me in the middle i'm losing my mind just a little so why don't you just meet me in the middle in the middle I'm gonna pause here because actually goof up um the middle i would say well, it just takes some time so little girl you're in the middle of the ride everything everything will be all right that's jimmy Eat world oh no wonder jimmy Eat world i messed that one up okay let's keep going i was also gonna do we built the city and then the karaoke version i found was like horrible it was like bad karaoke bar bad bad real bad um okay so, <laughs> I'm going to skip that one. And do, 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 do. here's 59th Street Bridge instead. Because who doesn't need a little Simon and Garfunkel? Sing along to and harmonize. Hi, Christy. Hi, Austin. Hey, Jen. Hi, Heather. <laughs> for the karaoke parts. I'm going to switch it up and um, 
So I learned Ocean Eyes last night on the piano, and uh, if uh, some of you haven't known, uh, piano is not my forte. I took piano one and two in college, and I pretty much slept through most of it because it was at like seven in the morning, and I'm not a morning person at all whatsoever. So I basically looked at the syllabus, and I went on quiz days, and somehow I got a B. But um, I really didn't learn. I just learned enough to play. So here is uh, Ocean Eyes by uh, Billy Irish. Eilish. Eilish, not Irish. Eilish. Eilish. I can't speak. Hopefully I can sing. All right, here we go. Let me try that one more time. All right, and I'm making sure it's scrolling. ocean eyes for you already. Um, this one is a worship one. This one is uh, Oceans uh, from Hillsong United. It's one of my favorites and th I kind of thought this was good for the oceans theme and the soothing nature that we kind of need sometimes. So, and this is one of my favorites, favorites, favorites.
Not as good as Taya's. Taya's like, oh, her voice is amazing, very inspiring. Um, but that was hell song. All right, so now I'm going back into crazy mode. And so the next few songs are all about crazy. Starting with Sweet But Psycho. All right, so clap out if you uh, like that song, uh, Sweet But Psycho. Um, so that one, the first time I even heard of Sweet But Psycho was at the Strawberry Festival in Huntley, and uh, we were doing a karaoke a la mode in the gazebo, and so it had just downpoured, and uh, we were worried that we were not going to be able to, you know, kind of continue the show, because it's a festival, it's outside, and we're hosting karaoke in the gazebo, and it downpours. And uh, just as soon as it starts to light, this little girl comes in, she's like, I want to do a song. We're like, uh, okay. She's like, I want Sweet But Psycho. I'm like, Sweet Potato? She's like, no, Sweet But Psycho. And I'm like, okay. I never heard of this. And so she sings the Sweet But Psycho, and it was sounding amazing. And then the sun comes out, and she, she like, walked up with her family, and more people started coming, and it was fun. But uh, that Huntley Festival is hopefully one that we'll get to do again. It's usually in June, the second or third week in June in Huntley, and uh, it's when you can go pick strawberries and all kinds of things. And uh, at Tom's Farm in Huntley, so shout out to Tom's Farm. Um, they've asked us to host music there the last couple of years, and this year I don't know if we'll be able to because it's in the summer, and summer is pretty much canceled uh, for outdoor stuff. But uh, 
uh, they are actually, uh, the, when they host, they host and they, they donate money that they earn for Give Love for Life, which is an awesome nonprofit out there. If you haven't heard of it, they kind of like raise money to support families going through traumatic experiences. And all I can think of right now is that, wow, there's a lot of families right now going through traumatic experiences. And so this would be a good time for Give Love for Life um, also. But uh, also, I should mention our own nonprofit, which is Caring Hearts and Voices. And uh, when we're not under quarantine, we support those in need through music. And we go to hospitals and hospice centers and homeless shelters. And um, we go where we're called. So we've been uh, assisted living memory care centers. Um, we've gone to uh, benefit concerts and international fairs. And uh, we've gone to a country club to provide music there, too, as a fundraiser. And uh, so we've we kind of just go where we're called. And so um, if you'd like to donate and help uh, where the funds go, it helps us to purchase instruments to provide lessons for free or very reduced cost uh, to uh, those that would not be able to afford instruments um, or afford lessons. And uh, so that's something that we do. We're starting the Zoom classes now uh, online. So donations would go to help support that. Um, when we're not under quarantine, we can have outdoors things. We also um, provide the sound equipment that musicians might need uh, to have events. So we support like new artists uh, that may not have the sound equipment to go do a, a professional performance, but are definitely talented. And so we'll coordinate like the performances with the sound equipment and we say, okay, you know, you know, just show up. We'll have the equipment ready for you, you know, and uh, give us shout outs and, you know, donate what you can. And so sometimes what they do is they donate all their tips and that's how we earned money too. And uh, we also, at the corporate events, we charged for our performances, and that would fund it. And now all of our can our performances are canceled, and uh, we are going to quickly, quickly run out of funds just for our, to sustain the organization, and let alone plan for future events. So, anything you have, if you are willing to donate, please do. Um, yes, there is a way, Jackie, to volunteer. So right now, during uh, this time, we have we are asking for volunteer musicians to help uh, host these events. And so on Sundays, we have the virtual music. Uh, virtual virtual concert series, sorry, uh, virtual concert series on Sundays. And so this Sunday, we were actually looking for a musician. So if uh, you guys know somebody that would like to perform on Sunday at 3 o'clock, uh, we have someone otherwise I'm going to jump in and do another performance on Sunday. Uh, when we aren't, in, yes, when, is there a way to volunteer when we aren't in quarantine? Uh, yes. And so uh, we also, we need volunteers to go to hospitals uh, and provide music there, especially like during lunch hour or evening, whichever one. Um, is there because there's a lot of people that walk in by that just kind of need and it's not like a very um, Like if you're a musician and you want like a whole bunch of like fans to, to scream and shout at you You're not gonna get that at like the hospitals or hospice centers. It's actually quite opposite You're there just to support them and play some calming music in the background um, And occasionally, you know, they'll come out and they'll look in the hallways and say oh, there's a person there It's on a radio and uh, you know, they'll thank you for it But most of the time they've got things that they need to take care of and you're really just there in the background to support and say hey you're not alone we're here for you too and so if you are a musician that's one way um, we have non-musician opportunities too with uh, at the assisted living and memory care centers um, where we need help with like balloon passing and so <laughs> which sounds so silly but it is amazing experience so when we go to the memory care centers a lot of time we are looking to get engagement and social engagement interaction and so we have the music going and then we have volunteers that may not play instruments or sing songs and they help toss the balloons and they initiate like this back and forth action and you say hello to everybody and you say everybody by name and so um that's a not that's a volunteer opportunity that we'll need when we're in when we're not in quarantine all right i'm going to go back to some music because i feel like that's also very important um so oh to donate we have uh, paypal it's info at caringartsandvoices.org um and then we also have uh venmo which is the same thing info at caringheartsandvoices.org and if you um, can't find the links or if you don't remember it you can go to our caring hearts and voices website and we have the links right there so we make it very easy for you to donate to us um, all right so here's sweet but psycho okay the one all right Cycle, a little bit psycho And now she's screaming for my, 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 my And oh, she's a but a psycho So left, but she's right, though And now she's screaming for my, 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 my She'll make you curse But she's your blessing She'll rip your shirt Within a second You'll be coming back Back for 
So I'm going in crazy mode still. I'm tangled up in my own cables, so let me undo that. This one is a classic, Patsy Cline, crazy. This is uh, one of the favorite ones too, whenever I go to the senior communities, they love this one, I just realized you can see that part. Oh well. Thank you. 
Alrighty. I have a couple more songs before I'm going to switch it back to karaoke. Uh, this one's one of my favorite Call Me ones. Uh, it's from The Greatest Showman. It's one of my favorites. A Million Dreams. I feel like it's a good time to have some good dreams. the dream Dorothy's dream although changed the Hawaiian setting so uh, next we have over the rainbow Hawaiian style
I'm going to put my ukulele away, and I have two more songs for you. Very fun. They are also geared towards the older audience. Um, this is the next two are songs that um, either my mom sang around the house all the time, and uh, songs that uh, my sister and I kind of sang. And um, my friend Beth Taylor, I don't know if she's watching, but this one's for you too. Um, she kind of got me back into it because she's a music nerd like me, and we kind of like geeked out singing all these songs together. So I have a quesada. And also, I could have danced all night, which is so <laughs> fancy, fancy. All right, so here is Quesada. Let me make sure it's not too loud. <laughs> When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me. Sing it, ready? Can you sit up, sit up? Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. When I grew up and fell in love, I asked my sweetheart what lies I had. Will we have rainbows day after day? Here's what my sweetheart said. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be Now I have children of my own They ask their mother, what will I be? Will I be handsome? Will I be rich? I tell them tenderly Que será, será Sera, sera. What will be, will be. Que sera, sera. Doris Day for you right there. Que sera, sera. All right, the last one I'm doing is I could have danced all night. And so there are still 15 minutes after this. So I have this song and then uh, if you want, put in some requests while I'm singing this song. So anything you want to hear, um, whether it's a karaoke song or you want me to get out my ukulele or play on the piano, you tell me what you want. All right. So I'm going to sing, I could have danced all night. This one's for Beth and for um, my sister and for any one of the music geeks that out there that uh, used to sing all the Broadway stuff and was in the theater with me. So like uh, Kelly and um, Jen, I know you were in band and stuff. I don't remember if you did like pit orchestra. Um, but, oh, and Sarah, who was also in the band, and uh, she, I don't remember if you were the pit orchestra. I know both of you guys are French horn players, so. Um, all right, so this one's for you. You ready? I could have danced all night by May Fair Lady. Let me get in costume character mode. Oh, she's in love, Eliza Doolittle. Because the rain in Spain stays mainly on the plain. <laughs> Here we go, ready? My head's too light to try to set it down. Sleep, sleep, I couldn't sleep tonight. Not for all the jewels in the crown. I could have danced all night. I could have danced all night and still have been for more. I could have. Sp- I never know what made it so exciting. Why all at once my heart took flight. I only know and he began to dance with me. I could have danced and danced all night. 
Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> all right. Any requests out there? Thank you all for uh, listening in and joining me. Oh, let's go to another karaoke song. Factory Boys. It looks like that's what's going on next. Let me just stop that. All right. Um, so there's some time left. If there's any songs you want to hear, like throw them out there. If not, I'm going to uh, cut this off and thank you all for joining me. Thank you for um, being part of this experience uh, for Virtual Music Thursdays. Um, the whole purpose of Virtual Music Thursdays is to continue uh, the volunteer work that I was doing before uh, we were in a quarantine. So every Thursday was when I would go to the hospitals, the hospice centers, and then in the evening I would go to the homeless shelters. Um, well, one homeless shelter is really all you could do in an evening. And I would provide music. So I'd go in an hour for the hospital and I would go in for an hour at the hospital, wait, hospital and then hospice center. Now, they were the same building, different floors at Arlington Heights, so I'd go hospice center on the ninth floor and then go down to uh, the main lobby in the hospital area um, in Arlington Heights and I would just provide an hour of music and um, it was always really appreciated, especially at the hospice center. Uh, it's not easy to get into volunteering at the hospice center. You have to go through background checks. You have to go through um, the physical. Uh, you have to go through online training. And um, it's a process, but it's well worth it. And it's very, very, very needed. So um, when we get out of quarantine, please sign up for volunteering. Um, that's one of the missions for Caring Arts and Voices is to recruit and support volunteerism. And uh, so if you need any help with it, if you need song ideas or anything like that, reach out to us because we can help you um, determine like what is the the best kind of music to do at the hospice center versus the hospital versus a homeless shelter. Uh, the homeless shelter I had so much fun with. Um, I would go there and it's not entertainment. Like I don't go there thinking I'm, they're going to like cheer for me and like be all excited but they ended up being excited and just being like oh good to see you again and that was um, that was like really nice to hear that they just appreciated that I was there. Um, not to show off or anything like that. Usually I just played what they asked. I got my ukulele there. Um, a couple of times I would bring out like a little roll up keyboard and um, we would do that. And then uh, the organization, we bought four ukuleles to take there. And so we would teach lessons to the adults that were there and the kids that were there because they usually were swarming me and they wanted to learn music. And uh, so I would just lay them out. And after they finished their dinner, if they wanted um, something to do, they might come by and they might strum some music ukuleles and sometimes I would just ask would you like a lesson do you want to learn and they said yes or not tonight and um, usually they had to work their courage up you know to be able to sit down and, and try a lesson because that can be very intimidating um, to pick up an instrument and try and um, once I show them on ukulele you only need like one finger to do two chords and um, <laughs> They started to like it more, and so I'm, I really, really, really hope to be able to get back to volunteering at the homeless shelter again because I do miss my people that are there um, that I saw all the time. And um, but during this time, it's it's uh, something I can't do, and something that you know, like the the volunteers that are there are dedicated there. You know, they put it, they put their time. So. Um, really shout out to all the volunteers that are continuing to serve uh, the homeless that are out there because there are a lot and um, people you would not expect um, that they are homeless you know they they don't have a shelter and they rely on pad centers to provide them shelter and it can be very stressful and it was one of my biggest worries when we first went into quarantine like where are they going because I know they need a place to sleep and I was really worried about taking my germs to them um, because when this first started happening I was sick and I like the last thing I wanted to do was get them sick because I just kept thinking if they got sick where are they going to be during the day to rest and get better and um, because they usually have to go out into the community and so um, it's still something like if you know about it, please let me know. Please share on this information. Um, I know that there is still shelter going on, but what happens during the day, I don't know. And um, so that's something that I really pray for with the homeless community, that, you know, they are finding shelter and that they are able to stay safe um, wherever they may be so they don't get sick. Because um, I can only imagine if they got sick, how would they recuperate? How would they rest? You know, where would they go? Um, and it's just very difficult. Um, I'm also really praying for those that are in the hospice centers because they, you know, there are no visitors. <laughs> and so um, it's unless you are not in the COVID-19 ward. And so like it's, it's 
very difficult and like the people that are in, ho in the hospitals. Um, I know a friend of mine whose husband has brain tumor and you know he just had surgery and is recovering and he's now doing chemo at home because she is administering it and they there was a huge scare with COVID-19 whether he had it or not and you know if she had to go into quarantine and if she could be there for her own kids at home and so this is kind of creating a big thing and so um, when we get out of this quarantine please sign up to volunteer at those places they very much need us all right so I haven't seen let me scroll I haven't been scrolling um, I haven't seen any request and so maybe we'll just close out with um, one more song it's over the rainbow but it is the Judy Garland version and so it's my favorite so I'm going to close this out with over the rainbow the Judy Garland version and this is a baritone ukulele in case you're wondering I have ocean eyes in my head right now. I need to engage, enlarge my uh, performance area. There we go. everyone for joining. I'll see you next Thursday. Um, for those of you that enjoy uh, worship music, um, Sunday mornings at 8.30, I will be providing some worship music. Um, a lot of Hill song is my favorite, uh, but send in requests to you, put requests for comments to hear if you have uh, favorite worship songs that you like, um, that you want to hear, uh, whether it's hymns or uh, contemporary music. Uh, I, I'll learn it. I'll figure it out if you have a request. And uh, we'll do that and uh, also some prayer requests if you have any prayer requests because um, I am I'm actually an ordained minister I don't know if you guys knew that or not but um, uh, I I will definitely pray for you um, and and just kind of support you however I can all right see you guys later bye <laughs>